and yet you say that in some places in Haiti, they're getting better health care than the United States. Well, you know, I, I, I believe that's true. I mean, I know it's true. You know, it's not really an assertion. For chronic disease, and AIDS would be a good example, um, you need to take, and, and you know, diabetes, insulin-dependent diabetes is another, you, you have to take a medicine every day, you know, whether that be an antiretroviral cocktail or insulin. Um, you have to take it every day. And the system that we built up in the 80s, really confronting another disease, tuberculosis, relied very heavily on community health workers who we trained and, more to the point, we paid. You know, we thought, you know, do we expropriate the labor of the poor or do we actually pay them? Like uh, someone like, I would get paid a fortune to do consulting and work like this. Um, and we said, no, 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 it's clear we have, that they have to be our employees and co-workers. So uh, it worked great. And it worked great for tuberculosis. It worked great for other chronic diseases. And when AIDS came along, what we did was to say, well, clearly we need to take the same system, which is free diagnosis and care, free care to the patient, because this is a public health problem, and they have a community health worker, you know, visiting them. And so what I see and what, you know, in this city, for example, in, in New York, um, they, they, I, I'm told they're contemplating adopting this model. I hope it happens. We, what we did was to bring the Haiti model up to Boston, you know, and I got in a little bit of trouble with some of my colleagues there saying, well, all we're trying to do is raise uh, Harvard levels of care up to Haiti levels because the outcomes were much better because they weren't lost to follow up. That's medical jargon. But, you know, they'd be, in the United States, you get someone who's really sick with a chronic disease, either of those two diseases I mentioned, for example, would be, would be, would be true. And then they, they, they're sent home, but they don't have the appropriate support in, as they say here, in the community. And so then they get sick again and go back to the emergency room. Maybe they don't have insurance, maybe they don't speak English, maybe they have housing insecurity. This is the United States. But like Haitians, they have social problems and our medical system doesn't deal with those problems well. And so the care can be better in Rwanda and Haiti than what we're seeing here.